Yo Q, what up? Yo Q, man, what I'm up? keeping it real. What up, the one? So much pain, I can't Welcome. How I really feel. Let's get it. To not, not, just, just music. 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 Where we keep it real, real. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. and so honest. Pain, Always. Really My mom praying, telling me, Q, you need to chill. They can't respect the truth from just honest. All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode and a very special episode of Not Just Music Podcast. Well, we keep it real. And honest, and we'll be talking about 9-11-2001, where a horrific event occurred here in America. Probably one of the most unique things about this day was no one saw this coming nobody could have ever saw something like this coming where we lost almost 3,000 people exactly. in, in one instance um a sad thing a sad day but again um I remember the day very vividly um I was actually in between classes doing a class change my freshman year of college at the university of south carolina in columbia and columbia south carolina that is and um i remember it was like a whole lot of people were scattering like as if in like something had happened like you knew something was going on yeah, I remember like two people. It was two people from my in my dorm. I remember from New York at that moment, and um, one of them parent actually worked in one of the twin towers. Um, blessings to her though that her that they made it out though because it was like on one of the lower floors. Yeah. But I thought it was like one of those things, like you know, you see. And you hear things going on, but until you like get in front of a TV and actually see it for yourself, what was going on? Like, like see remember, the building coming down, yeah, yeah. yeah and I, had, yeah. yeah, it was, it was like I said, I got in my room and um, uh, just went upstairs, uh, cut on the TV so I could actually understand and digest what was being said. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute, like it wasn't one of those things like where it was like. You can you see what's going on, but to actually understand it and process it, you could not understand something and process something that fast when you see how it was going on. And then I could say that was before the second plane even had hit the second tower. Yeah. What you remember about it? What you what what, what were you what what moment were you in at this time? Uh man, I was in uh actually I was in elementary school, man. I was in elementary and I remember I was in class, like when it happened or whatever. And uh-huh. being that young, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know the the severity of it. You know what I'm saying? We just knew that something had happened. Everybody was talking about it. So um when I got home, I actually saw it on the news and how it was affecting people and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, whoa, like this is something serious. You know, people died and stuff like that. And the more that I grew and got older, I realized how much effect 9-11 has on the world to this day. Yeah. You know, like 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 uh the security in the airports are tighter now. Everywhere you go is tighter, you know, security. Um the gas prices, you know, the economy, you know, yeah. finances, you know, the world. Uh, mm-hmm. I think around this time, uh, I, if I can get spiritual, I think around this time is when, um, they actually started taking the praying out of the schools. Stuff just went downhill, and then a lot of uh, in school shooting started happening, and all kind of crazy true. stuff, man. So true. Nine eleven affected the world to to this day. You know what I'm saying? You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh just how how like you said things changed um uh, i think really um one big thing that it switched was how people traveled that was like 
that was like the biggest turning point for uh Americans traveling from here anywhere, honestly. I mean, but more case it was like those people that was like going out of country and like making a move to go somewhere where yeah. you know it, it was like you know out of country it, it, you you didn't know what to expect but again now and let me say this uh it's harder for outside the country it's people outside of the country to come into the country now exactly you know due due to the policies and all that from after the 9 11 so um you know it affected it hurt people that may have wanted to come to this country and actually be citizens and start a life here you know exactly. now the country yeah, the country looks at them as a as a terrorist, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and it and it put a damper on, you know, a lot of those foreigners. You know, like some people just like look at them really strange, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Um, it was it wasn't like, <clears throat> you know, I knew certain people that were, you know, not from here per se, and would be considered anything that was, you know, under the sun of. It didn't look like, or it didn't didn't look right if it wasn't black yeah. or white. I hate to say it yeah. like that, but I I remember somebody saying it to me one time. I was getting on a plane, you know. This was like the crazy part was I was running track, and yeah. I remember we had a track meet at the Armory up in New York, like uh -huh. that that same year going into going. It was two thousand one. I never forget two thousand one going into two thousand two, and we went up there and like the top of that year, and like to see. To like the first time I went up there, like I said, that was 2002. To, yeah. to actually get to walk around that area and to see how much that hadn't been cleaned up, it, it looked as if, in like, I lie to you not, bro, it looked like it just happened. Like, wow, that and that was like I said, it was, I think it was January when we went. So yeah. imagine all the way from September to January, nothing really looked as if it was like you know, certain areas they wouldn't even allow you to get to. Wow, but man. as the years went on from 2002 2003 2004 2005 stuff started changing and you know like they had like certain you know they had certain monuments for you know kids like that was like really disturbing and mm -hmm. you know they had this one part of the building like the, like the one of the lower levels of the twin tower and you can like walk down in there and yeah. you get to a certain point and it'll stop but they had like all these pictures up and schools and things and people were in there and these schools was going in there i mean kids like elementary younger than elementary in this building and all of this went down bro and all these kids did not make it home like yep. that switched my whole like instance in, in, uh yeah you think about life if you take life seriously yeah you know anything uh -huh. that you love either if it's kids or whether if it's your parents or whatever it is make sure you take it, it really taught me make sure you taking the time to like tell them that you love, love them you. daily yeah yeah, yeah. And, 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 hey, and and that my mom made a big thing of that every time i left the house i ain't care if i where i was going we, yeah we supposed to say i love you yeah you know what i'm saying and and it, it it goes into the world today like you know every minute is precious man the exactly. moment we step outside this door we don't know if we're gonna make it back home to our family uh, uh period you know exactly. we don't know yeah. so 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 what 9 11 really taught me in general is take every every moment like it's your last moment like exactly. you know because you never know how much time you have on this world exactly honestly you exactly know what I'm and and uh i hope people understand like you know something like this will happen again you know, yeah. we'll we'll never know when that day will come where somebody that's in that mentality of a terrorist will come. But you know what? Sorry to cut you off. It don't even really have to be a big nine eleven uh remake. It's you know, for examples, you see people going in kids schools and shooting kids, little kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's a terrorist to me. Like um, you know, somebody that has no heart of caring and, and will kill innocent kids little kids yeah. or, or go in a church where they're praising god in a black church and kill just innocent black folks mm -hmm. you know like like it it, it, it since 9 11 stuff has spiraled out of control you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i feel yeah i mean it's it's 
it, it, like you said, those terrorist acts are very, you know, these, these as I was saying, just it, they're going to happen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the first, you know, only reason 9-11 was just a marking date because nobody saw something like that. You yeah. know, of course, things have spiraled out of, you know, out of, you know, these school attacks and, you know, church attacks Churches. or spiritual attacks. I mean, Mom, this all goes, go. yeah, this all goes go. back to, you know, when the KKK, you know, certain situations in KKK history, they were doing things in this light too. You know, that was even before, you know, um, a lot of this stuff was like, you know, terrorists coming in from out of, you know, from wars and stuff like that. Um, I remember mm -hmm. one being Pearl Harbor. Like I heard about that um, in high school and I never really knew the story of it. But like it's basically like one of those 9-11 instances, you know, where, where it's a mass killing of thousands. And, you know, you like, man, like you really think about it, like thousands. And then let's t let's look at it like this. Like what even about the pandemic? You know, the pandemic almost took, you know, took six figure numbers, bro. Like that was yeah. considerably, I hate to say it, it was an attack on on America again. You know, like one person come in, two people come in and then this virus spreads and we done been running from it for two years. And, and, and but my thing is, honestly, we all know some of this has to do with an inside job. Exactly. It's, it's just an inside job. So all the people that's woke, all the people that's woke know this stuff is an inside job. Cause you just do your research, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Just mm -hmm. do your research. You know, read, uh, follow events, look into events, when things happen, how things happen, what mm -hmm. change, and mm -hmm. you will see. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's, exactly. it's right in your face if you yeah. educate yourself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Most of this stuff is like inside jobs. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly, and, and, that's, and, that's, and, it, and it makes us and it makes us want to blame others when really mm -hmm. it's the people right in front of you, like the ones you're around all the time and stuff like this. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and that's twenty 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 two. Um, is a very clear year so far. Um, there have been a lot of things that happened. Um, I think this is this is one of those things too, like. You know, people, those markers to say, like, 9-11, 2001, these people that had to die were, I hate to say it, a mark. It kind of presented a thing of saying, like, be ready next time. But my thing is, will we ever really be ready for something to ever happen? Because these things, when these attacks come, you don't see them coming. And you don't know how many people they're planning. Um, yeah. You don't know how many people they're, they're looking to take out. You don't know who they're looking to wake up. But for instance, you know, all of us have to be like ready. You know what I'm saying? We all have to yeah. be in that ready mode. And, you know, if it's going to be a, 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 a killings and things going on, you know, as I we were just saying, like, stay prayed up, man. Like, love well, your I love. Black, I, I think I think uh, majority black folks are always prepared for the worst. <laughs> you yeah. know, that's just a. Yeah, like we always prepare. Anytime we step out, man, it's something against us. You know what I'm saying? We we gotta pray, cause it's mm -hmm. cause cause it's cause cause even if it's not the physical attacks, it's the it's the um the financial attacks, the mental attacks that people like want to put us through when we're out here, and you exactly. know what I'm saying, and attack us. You know, like exactly. mentally, you know. So yeah. yeah, I think I think we're more prepared, but the whole world needs to be prepared and wake up and stop taking life for for granted you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. because because excuse my language man shit is real you know this yeah. is a real world so. it is it is it is it is it is it is um but so i said but my condolences to all the people that was lost in 9 11 man and everybody you know that suffered during those times um my heart is with all the families and prayers is with all the families if you're watching this my heart is with y'all, man. Um, they're gone, but not forgotten. May they soul, beautiful souls, rest in peace. Yeah, exactly. You know, we we are, um, not just music podcast. Yeah. Um, again, I, the love of the love of God covers us all the time. And um, love, yeah, and, love. And, um, yeah. never, never, never mistake instances that happen like this and think that somebody's overlooking anything that went on with it 
I stay stay awoke about a lot of this stuff because you never know when your day is coming. You never know how you're gonna die. You never know when it's gonna what it's gonna look like, how it's gonna sound, what it's gonna smell like, what it's gonna taste like. You know, yeah. so make sure you always admire waking up daily and having that breath in your body to be able to go out and show the world who you are in a good light versus just saying, you know, you could be the terrorist, you know, waking up one day, you know, you don't know what mentality you will wake up in. But again, if you stay prayed up, keep God on your side, like I think you could do a lot. But again, so. we ain't going to talk long. We love y'all. We appreciate the the love that we've been continuing continuing to get especially on social media platforms always I mean, always we appreciate y'all you. really are uh taking care of taking care of what we're going for but uh again we're not just music podcast where we keep where we keep it real and all the way honest and we love y'all and have a good evening peace